gosh, we'd have so much spirit in this thing so far, reminiscing and heart throbbing and all the rest of that. To bring a Joey Twombly up into this picture changes the whole picture. <laughs> Before I talk about Joey, I do want to say something from my heart. A lot of people have been involved in this sport and kind of gotten away from it for a few years, some for a lot of years. Greg Noel went fishing for 20 years. Uh, you know, uh, it's funny when you come back to it, you look at it with a different set of eyes. You look back at the friends you made, the friends you still have all over the world. The joys of that first time you stood up, that first time you turned right, that first time you rode the nose, the first time you did a bottom turn, and they don't change. They're, they're just as vivid in your mind as when you were a little kid. And for all of you people out there who are just young people who are just starting surfing, it's the same for you. It doesn't change. It doesn't change because we had waves and there was nobody around. In fact, it may be better for you because you have more friends to make. And I just want to say, the sport of surfing been very, very good to me too, all right? <laughs> all of us were doing well off this sport. Now, let's get back to Joey. All right. A lot of people don't know, who in the hell is this Joey Twombly? Look at that handsome kid up there. Yeah, that's Joey Twombly. Right? What you don't know about Joey Twombly, take him on the road sometime. This kid can eat. I mean, we go into pancake houses, all you can eat, you know, breakfast pancake, the whole, whole team went in there. They go, is Twombly with you? You can't come in. <laughs> he would, are you gonna eat those mashed potatoes? from everybody at the table. However, he burned up those calories by being the number one paddler on the East Coast, junior men's. Uh, he won the junior men's division of the East Coast Championships. I think he won the boys, too, before he won the juniors. Um, one hell of a competitor. Hell of a nice guy. The trouble is, is we'd leave one town to go to the next town, and if we came back to that town, all the girls would be waiting. Is Joey here? Is Joey with you? <laughs> that same handsome young kid had a lineup. I remember once he got a second place, he handed it to the girl next to him and says, later, baby. <laughs> but uh, truly, I've got to honor a really talented surfer, great, great competitor, uh, a good man. Got a great business, super talented artwork. And you know, he was kidding about dealing with the Shah or whoever he was kidding about, but he's doing that. He's building tables for the predominant cruise lines companies and he has some artwork that is just outstanding. Still involved in the ocean, You'll never get the salt out of his blood. Joey Twombly, come on up here. Thank you, Dick. Can I speak to me that microphone up there? This one or this one? Either that one. one up there. Thank you. Appreciate it, Dick. Oh. Jose! <laughs> when Cecil called me about a month ago, I was just honored. I just couldn't believe it. I ran around the shop telling everybody, my manager Ken here, I said, I've been inducted, I've been inducted. He said, are they going to pick you up? And I said, not indicted, <laughs> inducted. <laughs> I just about lost it. And I'd like uh, to thank Pete Smith for giving me all that good publicity about the uh, Sultan. You know, they say if you remember the 60s, you were not there. <laughs> were you there? <laughs> no, seriously, I'm glad that y'all are here tonight. I'm glad that my wife, my daughter, my friends, John, Donna, Ken, Greg, other friends are out there. Um, I'm glad they can make it here tonight. They each have to give me five bucks for saying their name, by the way. So, you know, I got that going for me. And... Uh, I think we all owe a great debt of what? I can't say that. There's kids out there. Yeah. So. I'll tell the jokes, okay?
Yeah. <laughs> he tried to shoot the pier when he was 16 and he missed. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I'd like to thank Cecil Lear tonight and Greg Knoll for putting this whole um, ceremony together because without them this would definitely not be happening. And uh, I'd like to thank Dick Catry and Shag for all the work they did back in the early 60s and the mid 60s with the Surfboards Hawaii and Hobie Surf Team because without them nobody would have made the trips north. <laughs> in fact, some people never made it back to Cocoa Beach. <laughs> it just seems almost too good to be true, though, that there we were, a bunch of uh, surfers traveling up and down the coast, surfing from Miami to Maine, surfing in contests, Puerto Rico. Some of us even made it to California and Hawaii. And we didn't even have to pay for it. The uh, sponsor paid for it. Thank you, Hobie, Dewey Weber, Greg Knoll. Hope you got your money back out of that. <laughs> and. Uh, then it gets even better. 30 years later, we get the ultimate award for it. Thanks again.